So um, best lower abs. I like knee ups is one of my favorite lower ab exercises, knee ups. What you're thinking is that you are going to spot reduce. Um, and so I want you to, I want everybody to remove that. Okay. Just remove spot reducing. If you train your arms, what happens? They get bigger. You train your legs, they get bigger. You train your abs, they get bigger. They get thicker. You're going to have a waist looking like Keith Evans and nobody in the world wants that. The deadlift doesn't do anything for me. Um, and it doesn't do a tremendous amount for anybody that's not going to do a powerlifting meet. It, it does do stuff. Trust me. He did bent over rows to enhance his squat. I'll say it again. He did bent over rows, not squatting, to help his squat. He's such a small body. Yeah, look at that. That's the Mike O'Hearn. It's beautiful. Have you guys seen this pose? Beautiful. See the tricep? I ate bison the same meal for one week, and a line came in. I don't see how that works. Sure, you came out angled, dog. Dude. Oh, you see what happens when you turn the wrist a little bit? Oh, look at, look at the shape of the forearm. That's not bad. That's not bad. And it also gives that flow, like you're like, you're like, you're like on the mountain, you know? I think that's pretty good, guys. Good shot. Anyone that does this or doesn't do it, right? You want to look at that shit. All right, so guys, we are two days to purge. What did you call this? Boom. I'm just giving this. I'm going to give that right there. New ebooks coming soon. Yep. For all you Titans out there that are trying to soak up that knowledge, we've got how many years are in this one ebook? This is like millions. Millions of years of millions of knowledge. Who's the toothpick in the background? Who's the toothpick? Oh, let's not. Let's not. It's just the angle. It's the angle. Just the angle. <laughs> that boy right there is over 230 pounds. Of sexy man. Let me, let me tell you, man. Who's over, wait, 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 wait. Who's over dollars? Why won't you let me talk to you? <laughs> uh, I got to give a big shout out to my man Bobo right here because Bobo uh, picked up me from the airport in uh, New Orleans. Hey, and then, shout out for that. Yeah. And then, uh, but he, he'll keep going here. And then he uh, went and got Mo the next day. And then uh, this morning, after we got about two and a half hours of sleep, because this morning I was in the bayou filming. Swamp Crazy. Match. Crazy. Yeah. Swap match. Yeah. That's why I kept putting it up. I was waiting for Billy to see off oh, swap match. Um, so the real swamp match. It was actually a good swamp match. Uh, with that being said, um, this morning Bobo over there uh, picked us up uh, at, at 4 a.m. and got us to the airport. So thanks, Bobo. Shout I appreciate it. Bobo. Big shout out to my band, Bo. We'll be sending him some uh, test booster yeah. and some cream. <laughs> I'll send him the link to a test booster. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, uh, yeah, Jeffrey here uh, picked us up this morning. And then, you know, Serge. Serge slept at the airport, made sure that our uh, bags were packed and everything. Yeah, so, is. again, they notches it up a bit. But let's go over this. We got two days to purge. We uh, have videos up about the dry out that everybody's doing. You guys have the email to send your before and after shots. We're not going to slow down. So this is going to get real freaking busy right now. You got before and after shots to set in. You got to get into the new Titan crew. You got to get ready for Monday, which is the new power bodybuilding program. You got to get going on the new Titan meal plan, which is going to uh, get your nutrition. You got to get that early. So, yeah, we got all that going. Um, and then on Monday, we start the hardcore. So we'll have a little celebration on Sunday, be able to eat up a little bit. Um, uh, what, are, what, are they, what are the brownies that you just posted? Oh, I mean, uh, the, uh, the Buckies. Okay. Buckies? Yeah. Ohio? Yeah, yeah. Buckeye. Buckeyes. We're going to have some of those bad boys. Yo, where's the time brownie at? Yeah, we got, we got to get that. Yeah, get got to keep pushing that one. Um, and then also on top of that, we have with Icon, we have the Titan Bowl coming out. Did we receive that this week? Yeah. I don't know if we got a new one. Okay, good question. Uh, subscribe. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, kid. So um, best lower abs. I like knee ups is one of my favorite lower ab exercises, knee ups. Also, here's the thing, though. Um, I know you asked for lower abs. Just so you understand, if you're doing if you're doing abs, your lower abs are flexing, not as much as the upper abs. And then when you're isolating the lower abs, your upper abs are still flexing still. So with that being said, it's a, a double hit. But if you're going to focus on the 
this is what I'm worried about with you, Frankie, you especially, uh, just because of the great thing about this is that I know you, I know your photos, I know your, your, what you're thinking. What you're thinking is that you are going to spot reduce. Um, and so I want you to, I want everybody to remove that. Okay. Just remove spot reducing. Can you flex an area and, and uh, tone it up? Well, you can flex an area, but it's not going to tone it up. That's going to be the diet and everything. And if you have a problem area, that's going to be the last to go. All right. For everybody. So my last to go is usually uh, the lower back. Oh, my lower back or uh, my glute hamstring tie-in. Those are the two things that are uh, always my very last of it. Then he says he's got a, she's got a music video coming up. Who does? Uh, Frankie. No, yeah, he does. So should he switch to the blitz? Here's the problem. Frankie's great about this, but Frankie came clean and dieted for the year. Oh, yeah. So Frankie. he shut his metabolism down. He went into a yeah. And he's already in a deficit, and so there's there's a problem that we have to get yeah. his body working again and give it time before we start slicing, slicing and dicing. So Frankie, you know this, right? So he'll look better by doing it. Yeah, right now he'll look better yeah. if he just stays with more calories yeah. right now and let the body recover like that. Um, yeah, unfortunately. Frankie, just let me know that you fully understand um, what I'm speaking about, too. Um, but do this and again i don't want you to get a th a thicker waist or, or anybody to get a thicker waist by thinking you can train this next year your abs and they're going to make it go away that's going to give you a thicker waist and a more bloated stomach so something that people didn't realize uh and i feel a little bruce lee like about this because it's like people train their abs all year long for hundreds of years and it's not recommended mm -hmm. It is not recommended because you're building the muscle. If you train your arms, what happens? They get bigger. You train your legs, they get bigger. You train your abs, they get bigger. Yeah. They get thicker. You're going to have a waist looking like Heath Evans. And nobody in the world wants that. Uh, will you crank the AC? Um, so I don't want you guys thinking. Remember, we always do that short burst during the 30-day blitz or anything getting ready for a show. We do a short burst of ab work to overtrain them to make the waist smaller and then we step away from it again and then make sure the nutrition does the point um but frankie let's make sure that we touch base here on the next check-in on the next check-in uh we can kind of go over this again and see where you're at with your photos and stuff like that i think why don't i just tell you guys right now it's gonna be a crazy weekend we're gonna go into monday we're gonna start the uh, power bodybuilding on Monday. I don't think we'll do check-ins on Monday. I think should we do a hello? We'll do, we'll do, a, we'll we'll do, do a live on Monday. Yeah, we'll do a live, but we're not going to do a check-in. Check yeah. Um, so we will do our first check-in on May tenth. Now, everybody that is starting the power bodybuilding, I'm going to tell you this right now. I want you to use the first week differently than you've ever done any program in your life. I'm going to say this again. The first week of power bodybuilding, you're going to do this completely different than you've ever done anything ever before. And what I'm speaking about, so we can start the second week strong, is I want you to go in at 60%. Yeah, 60%. Do half the sets. Okay, do the reps, but do half the sets. Go in, go through the motions, um, and do proper motions, and, and choose your motion that you're doing. So if you're going to go squats the next nine weeks, what is it? What is, uh, is it a high bar squat, low bar squat, half field squat? Uh, is it front squats? If it is a chest exercise, is it bench press, incline, or is it shoulder press? I'm going to do a, a, an over-exaggerated uh, incline shoulder press for me during this nine weeks. Um, Deadlift. Is it deadlift? It doesn't have to be. It could be sumo deadlift. It could be farm boy deadlifts. It could be straight leg deadlifts. It could be a lot of different things. And so I'm going to do more of a, uh, a RDL, I guess you would call it, uh, more of a back straight leg deadlift um, uh, to develop that back again. So I'm not going to try to get an 800 or a 700 because it's going to be a straight leg more back development because I want to get that thicker back but not doing a deadlift because a deadlift doesn't do anything for me. Um, 
And it doesn't do a tremendous amount for anybody that's not going to do a powerlifting meet. It, it does do stuff. Trust me. But there's forms of deadlift that can do more for you. Yeah. Okay. So if you have weak legs, I'd go sumo. Mm -hmm. If you have a weak back, I would go more of a straight leg deadlift and develop that lower back now. But I wouldn't do a conventional deadlift unless your ultimate goal is to do a powerlifting meet. Or you can do a deadlift while isolating the back. Yeah. Make sense? Because Chris Duffin is going to talk about what exactly he did in some specific Oh, cases. yes, he did. With, I think he used a deadlift as an example, or a squat. It was a squat. He talked about how he was able to squat 1,000 pounds at the same time as he deadlifted that. Yeah, and it's he did, he, he said doing just what Mike is saying, but I want you guys to hear his take on it, um, and then comment on that video what you guys took away from that because it's mind blowing. Yeah, I'll give you a little tidbit that's going to confuse the freak out of you. That's going to make you want to watch it. He did bent over rows yep. to enhance his squat. So say it again. He did bent over rows. Not squatting to help his squat. Well, you mean he was squatting also when he's doing the bent? No, no. His exercise to help his squat was the bent over rows. Yeah. So this is where we're trying to teach you guys where this uh, science and training really goes to. And and so we're going to take you on this whole new ride over at the new Titan Crew uh, with these guys, and we're going to keep bringing these guys in and, and really teach you. That way you don't just hear from me, but you hear from the other pinnacle people up on the top of the mountain trying to tell you how they got there. And I want you guys to listen to how they got there. And then on top of that, I'm, I'm only bringing in guys that do this and they continue to do it or enhance. Um, I'm not going to bring in the one hit wonders. I'm not going to bring in the 20 year old guys that have 7 million followers on Instagram because they're 20 and, and it's a fun life. There's nothing I can learn from them. Um, I want to bring in guys like Chris, who has three different engineering degrees uh, and, and has studied this training to help you, or Matt Wenning, or Stan Efferton, uh, or Charles Glass, Lee Haney. These are the people I want you guys to learn from. The guys that have did it, lived their life this way, and, and continue to get better. Yeah, it, yeah. It's I really love the farm boy deadlift. Um, you can't go as heavy, obviously. Uh, but it allows me to get a real good contraction on that back. So it's, it's a great one, man. You guys are going to really, really like it. Oh, I love this one here, right here. I agree, James, James, Ugh, Heath Evans abs. Ugh. So you wouldn't plateau with a uh, compound exercise because you're already working in a percentage and a rep range uh, and separate, a set range. <laughs> So you're continuously going up, 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 up. So there wouldn't be a plateau. A plateau would come in if, if you're like benching 405 and you come in every week and you go, hey, I got 405 again. Hey, I got 405 again next week. And then the week after, and then you try 410 and you can't get it. Ah, you plateaued because there's no number base to that. So I just use the numbers. Make sure that you're using the numbers correctly and the sets correctly. Sets and reps are made for a purpose reason. A, a certain reason. So make sure you just use them for the, that reason, especially when you're trying to get stronger. Um, if you're just trying to build muscle, it's just basic. Um, it's more about recovery and all that kind of stuff. But if you're trying to get stronger, then you got to use the sets and the reps together in a, in a, a fundamental way to get better over a period of time. All right. Frank, are you going to jump on the nine week power bot? I love that, man. Yeah. Okay. So, so because you're doing that, let me say this then right now. We could probably tighten up your diet just a little bit. I'm not too much. I don't, I'm not taking you down again. But tighten it up a little bit. And then the nine-week power bodybuilding is going to uh, – you're going to do the same thing as me, basically. And Steve Pack is doing the same thing as me. Is that we're going to do a moderate diet. A moderate. So not a real surplus. and not, It's not a deficit. But it's a nice clean meal plan to where the training is going to slice us up. No more cardio. You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Yeah. We're still in a surplus, but it's going to that food's going to be eaten up so well from the body, you know. But we're going to be getting enough to where we get stronger and maintain that muscle. And 
it will use up that fat. So let's talk about that on the next check-in. That's a good one to talk about. Yeah, and that's what I think, that, you know, the reason why I wanted to go to that uh, uh, reversing out of the diet right now. There's a reason I'm going to reverse out of the diet. And so I'll actually get leaner without the cardio now. I'll get my abs will show more without doing the ab works because I'm putting the food back in and the muscles fill out. Uh -uh.